They're rich in omega-3 essential fatty acids, which help reduce the effects of brain aging. Turmeric, it helps reduce inflammation and boost antioxidant levels while also improving your brain's oxygen intake. There's also some indication that turmeric helps to reduce cognitive decay. Walnuts, they provide high levels of antioxidants and vitamin E that protect your neurons and protect against brain aging. They also contain high levels of zinc and magnesium, which are really good for your mood. Notice, walnuts look like a human brain. Dark chocolate. It helps with your focus and your concentration and stimulates endorphins. Chocolate also has flavonoids, which has been shown to improve cognitive function. The darker here, the better as the darkest chocolate has the least sugar, and we've already talked about how sugar is something to eat sparingly. And finally, water. Your brain is about 80% water. Dehydration can cause brain fog, fatigue, and slower reaction and thinking speed. Studies show that well-hydrated people score better on brain power tests. How do I consistently get a good night's sleep? You have a clear purpose for learning or doing something, and you've broken down the project or goal into small, simple steps. Does that guarantee sustainable, limitless motivation? For example, even if you have a reason to read daily and have a plan to read for just five minutes a day, what can keep you from doing so is fatigue. Mental and physical vitality is the fuel needed to drive your actions. We know the importance of time management. Well, motivation is all about energy management and optimization. You can't be motivated if you do not generate energy. My friend Brendan Burchard says, the power plant doesn't have energy, it generates energy. Here are my 10 recommendations for generating limitless brain energy. For each tip, please rate on a scale of one to 10, how much attention you are putting into that specific area. You may be surprised by your answers. You can get a list of nutrients and their effect on the brain from the National Institutes of Health website. There are natural sources for all these nutrients, but getting all of them into your diet might not fit your lifestyle or your palate. The good news is that supplements are readily available for all of these, though not all supplements are created equal make sure to do your research. You can also combine these with the brain foods discussed in this chapter to give your brain the fuel it needs. For a list and links to some of my favorite brain supplements, go to limitlessbook.com forward slash resources. Number three, exercise. Exercise changes the brain in ways that protect memory and thinking skills, writes Heidi Godman, the executive editor of the Harvard Health Letter. In a study done at the University of British Columbia, researchers found that regular aerobic exercise, the kind that gets your heart and your sweat glands pumping, appears to boost the size of the hippocampus the brain area involved in verbal memory and learning. I could almost hear some of you complaining or making excuses as you listen to this last paragraph. The human brain requires 45 distinct nutrients to function best. While most of these nutrients are created by the brain itself, the rest are imported from our diet. 
Since we know for sure there's a direct connection between a good diet and a healthy brain, it's essential that you feed your brain with the best food nature has to offer. Here is a list of my top 10 favorite brain foods. Avocados. They provide monosaturated fat, which helps to maintain healthy blood flow. Blueberries. I call them brain berries. They protect your brain from oxidative stress and reduce the effects of brain aging. There have also been studies that show they can help with memory. Broccoli, a great source of vitamin K, which is known to improve cognitive function and memory. Eggs, they provide memory improving and brain boosting choline. Green leafy vegetables. These are good sources of vitamin E, which reduces the effects of brain aging, and folate, which has been shown to improve memory. Wild salmon, sardines, caviar, and can support both short and long-term brain function. In the PDF in the resources, you will find a sample day of some of her go-to recipes to optimize brain power and vitality. These include morning brain tonic, morning magic smoothie, brain boost salad, easy roasted salmon and broccoli with Swiss chard, cocoa cinnamon ginger hot chocolate. Number two. Brain nutrients. As we've discussed, diet affects brain function. But what if you aren't able, because of your schedule or lifestyle, to regularly eat a rich brain food diet? Research has shown that particular nutrients have a direct effect on your cognitive ability. I always prefer getting my nutrients from real, whole, organic foods. Talk to your qualified health practitioner to learn what you might be deficient in. In my podcast episode with Max Lugavir, author of Genius Foods, we discussed the benefits of supplementing with phospholipid DHA. Your brain uses this to create healthy cell membranes. This is important because our cell membranes form all the receptors involved in mood, executive functioning, attention, and memory. B vitamins have been shown to improve women's memories. Curcumin, the nutrient found in turmeric, can forestall cognitive decay. Number one, a good brain diet. Resiliency expert Dr. Eva Selhub often likens the brain to a high-performance vehicle. Like an expensive car, she writes, your brain functions best when it gets only premium fuel. Eating high-quality foods that contain lots of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants nourishes the brain and protects it from oxidative stress. The waste free radicals produced when the body uses oxygen, which can damage cells. She goes on to note that when your brain is forced to run on inferior fuel, it can't possibly do everything it was built to do. Refined sugar, for example, contributes to impaired brain function, leads to inflammation, and can even cause depression something you might want to consider the next time you reach for a tub of ice cream to contend with a tough day. In my podcast interviews with Dr. Lisa Moscone, a neuroscientist, integrative nutritionist, and author of Brain Food and the XX Brain, she explains why the dietary needs of the brain are different from those of other organs. Exercise is boring. You don't have time for it. You can't afford a gym membership. 
but the simple fact is that exercise is enormously valuable if you want to unshackle your brain. Think about it. When you're active and moving, you feel sharper, right? Some of us even need to move around in order to get our brains operating at top efficiency. That's because there's a direct correlation between exercise and brain function. And you don't need to become an Olympic athlete in order to keep your brain sharp. There's lots of evidence to show that even 10 minutes of aerobic exercise a day can have enormous brain benefits. As your body moves, your brain grooves. Check out a few of my favorite exercise videos at limitlessbook.com forward slash resources. Quick start. Set your phone alarm to remind yourself to move a few minutes every hour. Number four, killing ants. Dr. Daniel Amen, a clinical neuroscientist, author of the bestseller, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life, and a frequent guest of ours, comes home one night after a particularly bad day at the office dealing with suicide risks, angst-ridden teens and dysfunctional couples to find thousands of ants in his kitchen. For a quick video on how to memorize this list, forwards and backwards, go to limitlessbook.com forward slash resources. If you're the kind of person who hates hearing you need to eat your vegetables, employing this list might require a bit of an adjustment. But here's some good news, because there's evidence to show that your brain runs very well with a little bit of dark chocolate in the mix. Remember, what you eat matters, especially for your gray matter. Quick start. What are your favorite brain foods? How can you incorporate one more into your daily diet? I met Mona Sharma when she was featured on Facebook's Red Table Talk as the nutritionist for Will Smith and his family, alongside Dr. Mark Hyman. She shared with me how the foods we eat can have a big impact on our energy, the quality of our health, and the function of our brains. Focusing on key ingredients like good quality omega-3 rich fats, vegetables loaded with antioxidants and phytonutrients, and spices to enhance our digestion and focus. It was gross, he wrote. As I started to clean them up, the acronym came to me. I thought of my patients from that day, like my infested kitchen, my patients' brains, were also infested by the negative thoughts that were robbing them of their joy and stealing their happiness. The next day, I brought a can of ant spray to work as a visual aid and have been working diligently ever since to help my patients eradicate their ants. Ants are automatic negative thoughts and if you're like most people, you place limitations on yourself in the form of these thoughts at least some of the time. Maybe you tell yourself that you aren't smart enough to learn a skill that you'd really like to have, or perhaps you repeat on an endless loop how pushing yourself to accomplish something is only going to lead to disappointment. Ants are everywhere and there isn't enough ant spray in the world to get rid of all of them. But eliminating them from your life is an essential part of unlimiting your brain. The reason for this is simple. If you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. If you regularly tell yourself that you can't do something, or that you're too old to do something, or that you don't have the smarts to do something, you won't do that thing. Only when you move on from this kind of destructive self-talk can you truly accomplish what you want to accomplish. 
quick start. What's your biggest ant? These people have a spring in their step and you feel better just by being around them. How many negative people do you know that you would describe as energetic and enthusiastic? How many negative people do you look forward to being around? Just because they give you such a boost each time you are with them. None, I'll bet. Negativity is an energy drain, while optimism is an energy enhancer. Health. This is one of those relationships that you have to experience for yourself to appreciate. We all know times in our lives when we got sick because we were under significant stress and consumed with negativity. Well, when I was in my 20s and had a negative attitude, I felt tired and battled a variety of minor ailments. The moment my attitude improved, my health improved. I looked and felt younger. The truth is, the cells of your body literally come alive when you are positive. Encouraging others. As you begin to see and use more of your own potential, you are also able to see the greatness that lies within each individual. You have faith in the ability of others and they pick up on that. Furthermore, the positive person is a far more effective leader. Would you want to follow someone who didn't believe in what they were doing or who expected a negative outcome? Of course not. Gratitude When your outlook is negative, you tend to focus your attention on what is wrong with your life and you don't appreciate the beauty that is all around you. As you become more positive, you are in awe of the beauty and you walk around with a sense of wonder. Positive people appreciate everything more. They also find that they feel better when they are dwelling on their blessings rather than complaining and finding fault. Perspective This is a logical progression from your increasing feelings of gratitude. You appreciate the many positives in your life and recognize that they far outweigh any problems or temporary inconveniences. You don't make a big fuss over a flat tire or a lost sale because you know that they pale in importance to your health, your freedom and your friends and family. Lucky people monitor their progress and make adjustments when appropriate. When a particular strategy isn't working, they don't complain or curse their bad luck. They just make a change. In addition, they are extremely open and able to take advantage of new opportunities which may arise as they pursue their original goal. 9. Be a risk taker This isn't about foolish unprepared gambles. However phenomenal, groundbreaking success is usually reserved for those who will venture into unknown territory. In the end, successful people make their own luck. George Bernard Shaw may have said it best. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, make them. 3. The Boomerang Work joyfully and peacefully, knowing that right thoughts and right efforts will inevitably bring about right results. James Allen Whether you realize it or not, you are throwing the boomerang today. As you may know, a boomerang is an angular club which you toss away from you and which eventually returns to you. In the game of life, you throw the boomerang daily in the form of actions and behaviors which you send out into the world and which return to you at some later date, often multiplied on the rebound. You've probably heard this principle stated in different ways, including what goes around comes around, or the biblical phrases, give and it shall be given unto you, and as you sow, so shall you reap. But how does this principle apply to your day-to-day -day life? 
Simply put, if you treat others with love and respect, you find that others will generally love and respect you. If you serve others, you will likely be served. Of course, this law also applies to negative behaviors. If you are critical and judgmental, don't be surprised when you are criticized and judged. Lucky people are mentally, physically, and emotionally ready to perform at their maximum. They are learners and hard workers. Whatever activity they are engaged in, you will find them reading, practicing, and picking the brains of successful people in that field. And they realize that the preparation must be done before the fantastic opportunity presents itself. Athletes may appear to be lucky at times, but don't forget the countless years of practice they put in. 5. Display incredible persistence and a long-term perspective. Most people want a lucky break and they want it now. If only success were that easy. Examine the lives of highly accomplished people and you'll find that virtually each one overcame years of frustration and setbacks. In any profession, the few who refuse to quit, when success is nowhere on the horizon, are the ones who eventually achieve the impossible. 6. Pay your dues. Lucky individuals are willing to start small and work their way up. For instance, in high school and in college, Michael Jordan wasn't the world's best basketball player. Likewise, Oprah Winfrey didn't begin her career as a host on her own national television show. They developed their skills over time and earned the right to capitalize on their opportunities. 7. Create crystal clear objectives. Clarity is power. Lucky people know what they want to accomplish and can visualize the end result in vivid detail. They are motivated by an exciting picture that they seek to bring into reality. You just don't get very far with a vague notion that you want to be happy or successful. 8. Demonstrate flexibility. Let's face it, no matter how well prepared you are, you can never anticipate all the setbacks and detours you'll encounter. Approachability. Think of the negative people you encounter every day. These individuals have a frown and you don't feel any warmth emanating from them. They create distance. The optimistic person, on the other hand, initiates a smile and you tend to smile right back. You feel a certain connection with positive people and enjoy the time you spend with them. Spiritual growth. People who make the commitment to develop their attitude invariably experience heightened spiritual awareness. Negative, unhappy people simply do not find a meaningful connection with a higher power. However, when you are filled with positive thoughts and feelings, you begin to appreciate yourself and others more. You begin to sense that there is a purpose behind everything and that you are a part of a bigger plan. You also trust your intuition more and realize that you are receiving guidance on your journey. I think you would agree that this is a pretty impressive list of characteristics. And the way to access all of them is to build a more positive attitude. Never forget, however, that your attitude is a choice that you make every day. Decide to build an unshakable positive attitude. In the end, I think that you too will find that attitude is everything. 2. The secret to being lucky. Luck is preparation meeting opportunity. Elmer Letterman. Why do some people seem to have all the luck? They are always in the right place at the right time. Their businesses prosper. They get one fantastic promotion after another. In short, they enjoy phenomenal success. 
what explains it are they doing something special or is good fortune selecting them by chance they see possibilities instead of limitations now i'm the first to admit that success requires more than just a positive attitude there are other principles you have to apply but it all starts with attitude without a positive attitude you can't tap into any of the other success principles your attitude is the foundation and the starting point for your success and fulfillment let's examine how your attitude activates the other keys to success confidence can you be confident and persuasive if you are not optimistic i don't believe so the confident person believes in his or her abilities and strides forward with the expectation of success others can see and feel that confidence negativity breeds doubt and hesitancy persistence we all know the value of making repeated attempts until we reach our objective why on earth would you persist if you didn't believe you would succeed in the long run optimism leads to persistence negative people give up at the first sign of trouble because they feel there's no use in making further efforts resiliency getting back on your feet when you've been knocked down that's surely one of the most important success principles those who are negative get even more pessimistic when things don't go as planned positive people get frustrated temporarily and then they look for the opportunity or learning that comes from adversity i have also discovered that those who are extremely positive don't resist life's events curse their fate or bemoan how bad things always happen to them instead they believe that everything happens for a reason this approach helps them to overcome setbacks and go with the flow courage there's no sustained success without courage when you believe you can do something you have the courage to move forward despite being afraid negative people on the other hand tend to back away from their fears and thus sabotage their potential enthusiasm and energy show me a person with a dynamic positive attitude and i'll show you someone who is energetic and in all likelihood enthused about what he or she is doing for a moment let's put aside winning the lottery which seems to be a random type of luck and instead focus on those who consistently achieve extraordinary results in their lives often we attribute their accomplishments to random luck however after studying the lives of these people i have discovered that there's more to it than that indeed these people seem to benefit from something i'll call created luck people who create their own luck have certain traits in common here then are the secrets for deliberately bringing luck into your life 1 be proactive show me a consistently lucky person and i'll show you someone who doesn't sit back waiting for good fortune to pay a visit indeed lucky people put themselves in a position to win by continually taking action in pursuit of their goals 2 have a dynamic positive attitude it has been proven that we attract what we think about most people who get the breaks believe in themselves and in their abilities they picture themselves reaching their goals and are secure in the knowledge that they'll master any and all challenges that come their way to become a magnet for exceptional achievements therefore maintain a confident outlook and concentrate on success 3 possess a burning desire aside from being positive lucky people are passionate about achieving their goals they are always on the lookout to seize an opportunity and you can bet they'll bring enthusiasm and energy to the quest 4 be prepared earl nightingale said it superbly 
if you are not prepared for your opportunity when it comes the opportunity will only make you look silly by the way you don't always receive precisely what you send out for example you might steal money from others and rather than having money stolen from you in return you could wind up in jail but whatever the specific response negative consequences always follow dishonest unscrupulous actions whereas positive results flow from fair and honorable efforts before we continue let's clear up some misconceptions about the boomerang principle many people don't believe in it because they fail to view it with a long term perspective the return for your actions is seldom immediate in fact there is often a long delay between your actions and the rebounding consequences so if you feel that you are living a good life that you are helping others being loyal to your friends creative in business and loving your family and that you have yet to receive any great reward don't despair first of all you might be overlooking the blessings that already exist in your life or you may consider what ralph waldo emerson believed about delayed rewards that your good deeds are earning compound interest in the universal bank building up value over time and that one day you will receive handsome dividends